Women boxers prefer to focus on the win rather than the bravado. We've come a long way. In the 90s, you only ever saw women parading in heels and a bikini holding a scorecard. Now we're owning it, we should get some male models in speedos to do the ring walk. It isn't just sports people that need someone to look up to, everyone needs that, LGBT people, the general public. To be honest, it's nice to feel that I can inspire so many people in so many areas of public life. One girl said when I won my gold that was what inspired her to do boxing. She was only 12, and that is the same age I was when I first started. Everybody wants that spot. Everybody wants to beat Nicola Adams. Everybody wants to be the Olympic champion. Everybody wants to beat the Olympic champion. It's made me train that much harder and stay that much more focused. I guess, in a way, I've got them to thank for keeping me motivated and focused on the job I need to do. I think the more people that feel comfortable in their own skin and feel happy that they can come out and know that it's not going to affect their job or moving up in their career is the way forward. Just making people feel happy and comfortable in their own job and in their sport. I went into boxing, and I'm bisexual, and I still achieved and performed at the highest level, and I came away with gold and made history, so with that said, anything is possible. Just imagine if women's sport was on the TV all the time, how many more female athletes we would have. I got my inspiration when I sat down with my father, at about 8 or 9 years old, and watched, the rumble in the jungle. I would be more wary of boxing a pretty boxer than I would one that looks like they have been bashed up a bit because the pretty boxer obviously doesn't get hit, so that means they must be quite good. My mum did really well raising me and my brother by herself. I know it was a struggle, and even from a young age, when I was boxing, it was always to make my mother proud. In places like the US and Germany, women's professional boxing is already quite big, but I'd like to be the name that makes it bigger and gives it more global appeal. I only went into a gym by accident. My mum couldn't get a babysitter and wanted to do aerobics, so she took me and Curtis, my younger brother, down to the gym. There was an after-school boxing class on with some of the kids from school. There weren't any other girls there, but I didn't mind. I loved it. Everywhere I go, people ask me for photos and autographs, saying I inspired them to start training. Boris Johnson says his son started boxing after seeing me, how cool is that? I train for at least two hours, three times a day, weights, bench press, push-ups, running, sparring, boxing sessions, so I must be burning off a lot of calories. But I don't weigh myself too often, just once every day. When I was young, I used to watch videos of Ali boxing, with my dad. It set me on the road. I wanted to be like Ali. I wanted to have my own Nikki shuffle and everything. I wouldn't call myself a feminist. I am just me. I like boxing and acting and doing my charity work. I love shopping, but I only really have time to do it online. Sometimes my brain is saying, go wild on food, and I'll want to pig out, but I'll tell myself, number. You either want to win or you don't. No one's ever really cared about me being bisexual, and I only came out because I had always been out, it's just the general public didn't know. I'm quite fearless. I'm like, let's just go out there and do this and see what happens. Every time I get in the ring, I have to give 110% because my opponents have nothing to lose and everything to gain, so I have to make sure I go in there with my A game and come away with the victory. Even though I am a woman boxer, I am not just inspiring women, I hope I am inspiring boys as well. 
Yes, I'm always keeping my eye on trends and designers. With certain favorites, I can tell you what season an item of clothing is from. I've been to a few catwalk shows, and I love seeing how the clothes look on a person. Spiders keep me awake at night. If I see one that's too big to get under a glass, there will be big problems. I'll spend the rest of the day feeling like I'm being terrorized by this missing spider. To finally become world champion after losing out in three previous finals is very satisfying. It shows that if you stick to your goals and work hard, you can achieve them in the end. Boxing is like chess. You encourage your opponent to make mistakes so you can capitalize on it. People think you get in the ring and see the red mist, but it's not about aggression. Avoiding getting knocked out is tactical. It is really important that we get more women doing exercise and being active, and those that have taken up boxing or boxing training will definitely find that it has a really positive impact on their health, fitness and well-being. You can have someone younger, faster, but if you have got that experience and that ring craft, you can do anything in that ring. Anger is an unnecessary emotion. Loads of stuff in life can trigger it, but what matters is how you react. I choose not to react. Nicola Virginia Adams born the 26th of October 1982 in Leeds, West Yorkshire, on the 26th of October 1982. She was educated at Agnes Stewart Church of England High School, Ebor Gardens, Bermontofts, Leeds. She also went to Hopwood Hall College in Rochdale. Adams is a British former professional boxer who competed from 2017 to 2019. She retired with an undefeated record and held the World Boxing Organization WBO female flyweight title in 2019. As an amateur, she became the first female boxer to become an Olympic champion after winning gold at London 2012, and the first double Olympic champion following a second gold medal at Rio 2016, both in the flyweight division. As of the 27th of May 2016 she was the reigning Olympic, World and European Games champion at flyweight and won the entire set of amateur championships available to her, Olympic, Commonwealth and European Games titles, and the World, European and European Union championships. Also became the first openly LGBT person to win an Olympic boxing gold medal, after her win at the 2012 Summer Olympics. On the 2nd of September 2020, it was announced that Adams would be a contestant on the 18th series of Strictly Come Dancing and that she would feature in the competition's first same-sex couple alongside professional Katya Jones. On the 12th of November 2020, they were forced to withdraw from the competition after Jones tested positive for COVID-19.